are going to talk about lengthening your body and your spine this week. So it's one of my favorite topics. I can never get tired of it. So we'll actually uh, have all your gear, your ball, your bands, your roller, and we're going to start on your roller. And you're just going to play there for a minute. Take a breath in and then exhale. And then another breath in and exhale. And while you're in that position, while you're working on those exhales, you're going to take a breath in, exhale, stretching the back of the neck. And another breath in and exhale. Belly sinking down, tailbone is down. Arms are going to reach up to the sky here. And just inhale up, exhale down. So why spend time on the roller um, is really because we want you, I like you to think about where your posture is. And I really like you to think about where that head position is. So I'm going to challenge you today to always think about the base of the skull reaching far away from your tailbone. So tailbone holds its position far away. It doesn't get to lift up and get closer, right? That would arch my back. But it also doesn't tuck under. So to get in its furthest position away from us, you need to be in your neutral spinal curve here. And that tail needs to be lengthening away, not tucked, not arched, right? So just like the whole pelvis far away, the back of the skull far away. And then the arms reaching up and down just create some mobility in that scapular area, that upper back area. And then we're going to take one arm overhead. So here again, you want to think about holding that spine steady and then reaching the arm from there. So nothing changes and moves. And then coming up and then switching sides. Reaching away. And then bring it back. And then switching. And bring it back. And as the arms go overhead, really be careful that the back of your, the chin doesn't lift and the back of your head doesn't shorten. So you want to still keep that length at the back of the neck, alternating reach and up and reach and up. And then let's take both arms overhead at the same time. As you do that, I want you to gently let your chin drop just a little bit and stretch the back of the neck. Hold here, keep stretching away. Chin drops, back of the head is long, tailbone is down. Big breath in, and exhale. Another breath in, and exhale. And then we're gonna just take the arms out to the side, letting the chest open up, elbows bend gently. Really see if you can get a stretch across your chest. Still with that stretch at the back of the neck, so the chin's gently dropped. And then you're going to rock side to side a little bit. So letting that just open up your area between your shoulder blades as the hands are out to the side. So all the while, my tailbone's still reaching, the back of my skull is still reaching. And then take your arms up to the sky. So here, you're going to just hold, bring one leg up. If you need to put one arm down, you're welcome to. And if you can, just grab your TheraBand and place it around your foot. You're going to take your palms facing each other, thumbs up towards your head. Find your that nice and long spine position, so tail reaching, back of skull reaching, and stretch away. Leg out, arms reaching, belly sinking. And bring it back. And reach away. And bring it back. And reach away. And bring it back, nice and controlled. Really use that band to help you create a little more length through the leg. And bring it back. And reach away. And bring it back. Shoulders are in their socket. Reach it away. Nice. Leg comes up towards the sky. Good. Sit here for a minute. Just let the shoulders relax into the roller. Stretch the back of the neck. 
And you're going to lower the leg, stretch the arms in the opposite direction. And slowly up, tailbone stays down, and reach it away. Slowly up, and reach it away. Long neck. Slowly up, and down away. Slowly up, and down away. And slowly up. Excellent. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Again, if you need to have one arm down, you're welcome to go for that. That's no problem at all. Back of the neck is long, shoulders are down. You're gonna exhale away. Bending the knee, pressing the bent knee straight, and bring it back. And reach away. And bring it back. Still really nice and long through the back of the neck. Long up that leg. And bring it back. And reach. Stretch. And bring it back. Control. And stretch away. And bring it back. And stretch away. Hold there, leg travels up and then reaches down and up and reaches down, up and reaches down, up and reaches down. Stretching back of the neck lengthening up. And stretches down. One more time up. And stretch it down. Well done. Bring that leg up. And then go ahead and relax it away. Great. So take your band and place it underneath your shoulder blades here. And lay down on top of it. Here, I want you to take it and cross it across your rib cage. So I'm going to cross it over the rib cage, keep my arms pretty much relaxed by my sides for the moment. So I just wanted to use this as a cue for my rib cage. So if you take that and let it cross the front of you, you could even bring it a little towards the hips here so that you're waiting at it down across the front of your body. Again, stretch the back of that neck. You're going to exhale on your exhale, you're going to pull the band a little bit and let your rib cage lower down. So here it gets a little more challenging. A lot of times when the rib cage lowers, the chin wants to go up. I want you to, as the rib cage lowers, stretch the back of the neck longer and then release. And you're still not trying to flatten your lower back, right? I'm just exhaling, knitting the ribs together in these diagonals as I lengthen the back of my neck. Shoulders can press open a little bit, down around the roller. Inhale, release, and exhale. Pressing back of the neck is stretching. Inhale, and exhale. Back of the neck is stretching. So try and really keep those hips relaxed. Their tail hips are reaching away. You're gonna exhale, pulling down, back of the neck is stretching. See if you can kind of get a natural Head float and then release. So you don't even have to come to upper back row. You could just imagine the length of them and a little float. The ribs dropping should encourage you, know, the shoulder blades dropping should encourage that head float position and then releasing. Right? If it's stressful on your neck, you're going to just keep the head down and keep practicing the chin dropping, the back of the neck stretching. But if you can, you'll take it all the way into that upper ab position, still reaching, so my hands reaching away, my back of my skull reaching long, and then releasing back down. Exhaling, any version that's right for you, please. So up, and reverse. Exhale, rib cage drops, lengthening the back of the spine. Feet should be super light here. I can really almost lift my feet also because I'm engaged. And then back down. One more time. Exhale, ribs. Drop, find length. And then release back down. Very nice. So let's go ahead and uh, take yourselves off the roller. 
We're going to put it underneath your hips. Keep that band in your body, but we're using that again. And just set it underneath your hips here. <laughs> so here I like to hug myself, pull the shoulder blades out of the way, stretch the back of the neck long, and set it down on the mat. In this case, we're actually working towards a little bit more rounding length. So I want you, the tendency in this position to arch your back. So we're going to counter that with a belly rib drop downward. As your feet are on the floor, that's more challenging. So if this is too hard to get the position, you can bring your legs up, hollow around, so get a nice rounding position so that your neck is super long and then slowly lower one foot and then the other one back to the ground, right? So I'm going to try to keep this hollow now. And what that's doing is sending my tail far away from me, way kind of up and out away from me. Still with the back of the neck, really stretch long also. So nice connection, ribs to hips. You're going to keep that connection in your center. Tail is reaching away. The thighs should feel like they're getting a bit of a stretch. If you want more, you can just send the heels in a little bit deeper. You'll get a little more stretch open. Great. And we're going to go ahead and continue the motion we started, exhaling. Really thinking more length, dig those heels in. Next, so you're pulling long. You can put your hands there and remind yourself. And you're going to roll up into a little coccyx curling bridge. And then release your way back down. Big inhale. And exhale, stretching the neck, curling, pressing. Releasing your way back down. And exhaling. Back of the neck stretches, tail curls, going press, and reverse, and exhale, lengthening, hollowing, going upward, and reverse, and one more time, going upward, holding here. So here, back the neck is long. You're just going to squeeze a little bit more and press. I like to call this this line between your leg and your butt, the butt crease, right? You're going to press that upward. Watch that the knees don't go open. You're pressing two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Holding there. And you're going to roll your way back down. Nicely done. Okay. So here, take your hands, place them on top of your hips, right here at the top. You're going to hook on those hips. Exhale, roll your way up and keep some pressure away. Watch that the shoulders don't get all tight. And then back down two more times like that, pressing that pelvis away, tails curling. And then down. And last one up. And then back down. Great, shoulder blades are wide, back the neck is long. You're gonna take your legs to tabletop position here. Call of the belly, back of the neck stretching. Great, holding this position, you're gonna take one leg straight out, hold that position there, right? So you're gonna reach that leg really long away from you. Take your arms up to the side, you're gonna reach the arms long in the other direction. So big, strong, pull through your center. Leg is out, arms overhead. Bring the arms in, the leg in, and switch. Stretch, hollow through the center. Back of the neck stretches long. Foot and leg are actively stretching. And bring it back. Here we go. Switching side, out and in. Out, enjoy the stretch through the body. It should be a stretch through the body. Here, really go as if you were just trying to do a regular stretch, not an ab work. And find that length through your body. And in, stretch, and in, out, reaching, center is holding steady, out, and in, out, and in, out, and in, out, and in, and out, and in. Well done. Take your right leg straight up to the sky. You're going to take, hold it there for a moment, stretch your arms up, shoulder blades still on the floor. Allow this leg to come into the position where you feel the stretch at the back of the hamstring there. With the knee straight, 
holding there. Good. And then off you go. You're going to reach the leg down straight, arms open away, and bring it back. So stop your motion where you don't no longer have the control to keep you from arching, right? We don't want a back arch. Good. And you want to keep that leg really straight, long, and the arms stretched, but the back of the neck long as well. Right, so you don't want to reach the arms as too long that your shoulder and neck tense, right? It's just enough that you create space and length. Great, one more. And stretch. Great, and bring it up and in. Let's try the other side, stretching that left leg up. Go ahead and bring it to the place where you feel like you're getting a stretch at the back of the leg. Set your body in the right position. So back of the neck long. Arms can reach straight up for now. And then we're going to drop it away. Arms reaching away, leg reaching away. And bring it up. And stretch it down. Bring it up. And stretch it down. Back of the neck stretching. Up. And stretch it down, up, and reaching down, up, and reaching down, up, and reaching down, and up, and reaching down. Great, hold it up there, and then relax. Let's, uh, if you need to adjust yourself on the roller, please do grab your band. We're going to place it around your right foot. Reach that right foot to the sky. The left leg now, you have a choice. You can place the foot on the floor with a bent leg. Um, if you need to do that to keep your pelvis neutral, do that. If you have more room, you can stretch that bottom leg out straight. Great. So here's an interesting thing. We want to create length. Uh, in both legs now, but we don't want to arch the back. And we also want to keep the pelvis level. So I don't want to go to the point where I'm twisting that pelvis out of position. I want to keep it closed, meaning the tops of the inner thighs closed towards each other. I want to keep the back of my neck long here, and I want to be able to hold this position. So find the place where you can do that. And then we'll take this leg into a circle. You want to make it a big circle if you can, but only as big as you can go without the pelvis moving off the roller. So if my leg goes to the right, I want my left pelvis heavy, and I'm gonna make a nice big long circle around. When I come across, it's okay if it lightens a little bit, as long as I'm base keeping that alignment, that basic alignment of the pelvis straight across. Right, so opening out, circling around, you can use your hand on your hip to make sure it's staying put. And bring it up, opening around, circling, opening around, reaching long through that leg, circling, opening, reach down and around, circling, and opening. Reaching around. Great. We're going to switch directions. So taking it across the body and circle it down, keeping length through that leg, up and around. And across, down, up, across, open, and up. Nice. Let's switch sides. So I think a lot of the work is in the setup. So set yourself up in the correct position for you. Get your belly in, get that bottom leg stretching away if, uh, if you can, or bent knees, fine. Pelvis square, check in on that. And here we go, you're gonna go open. Control how far you go, down and around. And again, if you wanna have your hand on that hip and be pushing it away, as you go, just to keep that length. And open. And around. 
Nice and tight through your center, open. And around. We're going to reverse the direction, across, down, and open. Across, down, and open. Across, down, open. And across, down, and open. Well done. Great. So now, with the band still there, we'll just keep it on the left leg. You're going to take a breath in. Both legs are straight. You're going to bring both legs together and about halfway between up and down. You get to decide how far. And then you're going to open back up so that top leg comes towards you with the band on it, the bottom leg opens down. Close the legs, reach long through your body, long through the back of the neck, belly is sunk, and open again. Same banded foot comes towards you. Up, close, and then open. Squeeze, and then open. Squeeze, and open. Squeeze, and open. And squeeze and really enjoy that open. I love these exercises to get extra hamstring stretch. I feel like I can never get enough hamstring stretch in my life. And squeeze and open and squeeze and open. Beautiful. Let's switch sides. Taking the right foot up with the band, left foot down. And here we go. Squeeze. And open, find that nice hamstring stretch and the hip stretch below. Squeeze and open. Squeeze and open. Squeeze and open. Squeeze and open. Nice. And squeeze and open. Great. And then bring your legs together. You can relax the band. Pull it off to the side. Both legs are straight up. Belly is sunk back to the neck is long. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you now to work without the band. You're going to press as if you want to press the legs up to the sky. So there's kind of this wrap. We'll use the turnout to help us up first. You're going to press up, wrap through the legs. Let them turn out slightly and get your toes as close to the ceiling as you can, keeping the hips on the rollers. The hips never leave the roller. I'm wrapping and reaching up. The back of the neck is long. Now I'm going to lower the legs away, keeping that reach. And I'm only going to go as far as I can go while my belly stays in and my tail reaches away. Bring it back up. And stretch long. Use that lift and wrap. And then lowering down. Belly stays in. And bring it back up. Exhale, wrap and reach. And bring it up. Exhale, wrap, reach. That reach should help you sink the belly. And bring it up. Exhale, wrap and reach. Back of the neck, stretching in the opposite direction. And up. Exhale, wrap and reach. Nice. And lift. One more time. Exhale, wrap and reach. And lift. Great. Let's open the legs out to the center. Get a little bit of a stretch moment here. And then you're going to take that circle and find how big you can make it, keeping that same control. And the, let the length of the feet find the wrap. When they come together, open back up to where you started. You can think about bringing the feet flexed towards the floor, as close to your, the floor towards your head. And then you're going to circle them around, squeeze, and open. Big breath in, exhale, circling, and open. Big breath and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. Very nice. Let's go ahead and bring the legs together and take the roller out from underneath you. You're going to place your feet on the roller and slide the legs out straight so the heels are on the roller out there. Great. So here we're going to do a little exercise. I like to think of it as walking. You're going to take a breath in, exhale, and just try and roll the roller away with your right leg and then relax. And then try and roll the roller away with your left leg and then relax. Right? So right leg, reach, and left leg, reach. So you're, it's like you're walking or pressing one hip away and then the other hip away. And switching sides and switching sides. Right? So still thinking about the length of the back of the head, reaching long and reaching long. Great. Now notice that your pelvis is moving from one side to the other. That's normal. That's what I asked for. So now I'm going to have you center your pelvis and pause. Take your hands on your hip bones. I want you to find as much length out of the right leg as you can without the pelvis moving now. So I'm going to take a breath in, hold my pelvis level, exhale, reach long to that leg, keep my left hip reaching also long at the same time, so diagonal foot and leg, and that right foot should float upward and then back down without changing my spine, without changing anything. Exhale, left leg's gonna reach only as far as you can go without shifting the pelvis. Right pelvis also reaches away. So left foot, right pelvis, and then back down. So in that opposing motion, let's switch. Reach the left pelvis long, the right leg long. If I reach each pelvis, the opposite pelvis of my leg, my pelvis stays still, right? So left pelvis, right hip, reach away. And down, switching sides. And I'm using my hands to remind my pelvis what it has to do, right? So I don't get it crooked here. And switch. Good. And it should be really easy to float this leg up off the roller this way. If you feel like you're just lifting straight up, then it's going to be actually harder than thinking of floating and reaching long. You're trying to get the motion to happen from underneath you to bring that leg up. So through your belly, under your bottom, down the leg from the back. And that's what's carrying the leg upward. Let's see if you can actually take it up and then back down. Control. Steady everywhere. Up with that left and back down, right? So there shouldn't be a lot of effort in the front of the leg. If you're feeling a lot of effort in the front, you can put the TheraBand around your foot to help you here. Reach long and down. Stretch along, pelvis is staying level. I'm using that opposite hip and leg up and down, nice, up. And down, still reaching the back of my neck long. And down, last one on the left. And down. Excellent. So keep your legs here, relax them, let them just turn out if they want to turn out or just be. Spine is still neutral. Take your hands behind your neck. So we've talked a lot about that lower. We need to attack the upper a little bit more here. I'm going to squeeze the back of my neck with my hands. Take a breath in, exhale, drop my shoulder blades down my back. That's a key here. Really dropping the shoulder blades away and release. Take another breath in. Exhale, shoulder blades drop now in opposite direction. The back of the skull is reaching. Opposites. And inhale. And exhale, stretch the shoulder blades down, stretch the back of the neck in the opposite direction. So the chin drops a little, ribs drop. And release. And exhale. We're reaching back of the neck, rib cage. And relax. And exhale. Back of the rib and back of the neck. Inhale. Exhale. Stretching. And inhale. And exhale. Stretching. Ribs close, and you're going to come upward. Tailbone sinks down, ribcage connects. Stretch away, all the way back down. 
And exhale. Rib cage drops, back of the neck is long. And reverse. And exhale. Okay. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Nice. And exhale. Good. Hold there. Either in the head float or the head up. Rib cage is going to drop a little bit more. Give it opening backwards into the floor as you reach the neck long. So it doesn't matter if you curl up or stay in that float. You're just going to think about the length of the back of the neck. Shoulder blades down. Ribs go up and down. The ribs, I should say, close diagonally. And down. Legs are still relaxed. Squeeze and release. Good. Head float or curl up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Good. One more time. Up and pulling, stretching your way back down. Very nicely done. Okay. So here, we're going to go ahead and flip onto your belly. You want your hands where your feet are on that roller. Great. So here I'm going to lay down, placing my hands on the roller. We're going to stick with the upper for the moment. I'll take my hands, my thumbs up, it's just a little nicer on the shoulders. Let it reach away from me. My nose is just floating over the floor. As I reach those shoulders away, I stretch the back of the neck stretches. And then I'm gonna go shoulder blades down. As I pull the shoulder blades down, I reach the top crown of my head away. So as if the roller comes towards me and my neck gets longer and longer. And then I'm going back down. I'm not lifting my head. I'm just letting my shoulder blades come down and the back of my top of my head reach away. And release. So as you do that, if that's all you can focus on, just stay with that. If you have a little more focus to share, you're going to think about your tail again. So as I come upward, my tail is going to reach long, as if somebody had a little string and tied it on my coccyx. And was pulling it long as my head went long. So my head and tail are going long in the opposite directions as I come upward. Up and slowly down and allow that reach and stretch to go a little further each time. Up, stretching, tail stretching. Now hold that position there if you can. So it's still looking at the floor. I'm not going to lift the head. Shoulder blades are down. Take a breath in. I want you to really now think about reaching both feet far away from you. So drag those toes long away. As you do that, you might notice your kneecaps lift up off the floor. And then release everything, rolling down and lowering the chest and lowering the legs. And we're going to pull, pull back up. Shoulder blades down, back of the head gets long. Feet get long, long, long. And release. And then you can keep taking that a little bit further but keep that length. So now if I go further, my legs start to float. And then back down. If you're doing this right, you should be able to get up higher and higher without ever feeling a pinch in your lower back, right? So I'm reaching long through that lower area. I'm reaching long through the head and my legs just float. There's no pinching going on in my lower back. And reaching. And releasing. And reaching, shoulder blades down. And releasing. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. If you can hold it there, that's great. Hold. Reach those legs long. We're going to flutter kick. Don't bend the knees. Keep that length. Flutter kick, 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 kick. Keep kicking. Keep kicking, keep reaching. Back of the neck is long. And then lower your way back down. Big stretch away. Turn those feet out now. Take a breath in. 
You're going to exhale, shrug the shoulder blades, reach the legs long chest lift, and back down. Big inhale. Exhale, shrug the lift. Inhale, away. Exhale, shrug the lift. Inhale, away. Exhale, shrug the lift. Inhale, away. Exhale, shrug, lift, hold there. Click in heels, try and get those knees nice and straight off the floor. Click, 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 click. Shoulder blades are down. The back of the neck should feel super long here. Click, 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 click. And then back down. Excellent. Bend your knees, bring your heels together. So here, I'm going to have you bring the arms a little narrower, so not too wide. You're going to keep thinking of reaching the knees away. So the knees themselves reaching away. The front of the hips are going to open into the floor here. So they're really opening into the floor. And then I can squeeze and press up a little and down. Shoulder blades are shrugged, chest is up just a tiny bit with the back of the neck really nice and long. Squeeze, press. 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 And press. Press. And press. Excellent. And then lower the legs back down. Very nicely done. Let's dig the elbows in. You're going to come up onto your knees for a moment. Place your hands on that roller. Great. You're going to take a breath in. Exhale, let the arms roll away. The tail's going to reach back in the opposite direction, getting a nice stretch here. I'm going to reach, really reach forward through the shoulders. My head is going to fall between my armpits. Tail's reaching out. Take a nice breath in. And exhale, stretching. Really trying to get far, fingertips far away from tailbone. Big breath in. And reach, stretch, stretch, stretch. Big breath in, and reach. One more time, and reach. Good, take a deep breath in. You're gonna exhale, hollow the belly, pick up straight up to the sky, roll your way all the way onto all fours. Hands on that roll there, nice. Here, I'm going to walk my knees back just a tiny bit. Take a breath in. Hips rotate, roll forward. Shoulders open, neck is long. I'm going to hold this half plank position here, keeping my body strong and long. If you want a little more, take the legs out or lift up onto your toes. So you've got that full plank. Back of the neck is long. Heels are reaching long. Holding neck. Keep stretching the back of the neck long. We did all of that stretching work. This should feel like a great lengthening exercise and not much more, right? A little pressure through the arms, sure. But your abs are on, the backs of your legs are on, the back of your head is long. Great. See if you can shift your hips back and roll that roller back towards you, lifting the hips to the sky. Belly is going to go right up. Heels are dropping, getting a nice stretch out the back of the legs. Kneecaps lifting up to the sky. Neck relaxes between your arms. Heels keep sinking. Toes are trying to lift off the floor. Keep lifting that belly. Imagine I took your bare bend and put it around your hips and pulled you up and back. That's the direction you're going here. Good. And then we're going to go onto your tippy toes. Shift the whole body forward into that coccyx curl, unroll into a beautiful long plank. And as much length out that neck as you can, as much length out of that. The heels as you can. Big breath in. And exhale, make sure you're pushing the shoulders away from the floor. Big breath in. And another exhale. And one more time. 
and exhale. Here we go, lifting straight back up. All the way up to the side of the belly. Heels are sinking downward. Chest is opening. Big breath in and exhale. And then you're going to go ahead and walk your feet in underneath you. Make sure your spine stays neutral. If you can't, you're going to bend your knees to get that neutral position. Take a deep breath in. You're going to exhale. Press those thighs away, getting your spine even longer. So I'm going to really press, lengthening my tail, lengthening my head. Big breath in. And exhale, press and lengthen my head, lengthen my tail. One more time. Exhale, press. And then I'm going to work my way from uh, here, hinging all the way up in the back, all the way up to standing. But reach the arms to the sky, all the way up, big breath in. And exhale, your arms back down. All right. Well done. Thank you guys so much.